Hey guys, welcome to video 8 of the Hacked Existence How to Build a Website Django Tutorial. Um, this video is going to cover setting up the password reset functions so that our users uh, have an automated way to reset their passwords. Um, so what you really have to do is set up four URLs. Um, we're just going to extend the built-in system instead of building anything custom because Django is already taking care of this for us. Um, you can look at the Django documentation, um, specifically the auth section. Um, this is all from the other built-in views. Um, we're going to look at things like the password change function, the password change done function, the password reset function, um, and this tells you all the different stuff that you can do to it. Um, if you want to just extend what's provided by Django. So the first thing we need to do is make a URL to uh, reset password slash password sent. Um, and that's going to hook up to Django contrib auth views password reset done. Um, then we're just going to have reset password. And that's going to go to password reset. Um, here we have a complicated URL that takes a few strings and this is going to be the token that um, gets passed to password reset confirm that's generated from password reset and emailed to the user um, so this is kind of how we validate that the user is able to reset the password for the given account and then uh, reset complete is a nice little method that we have that will show us um, a little web page to tell the user they've been, their password has been reset. So after you put those four URLs in there, um, you want to write. Um, you have to restart your web server because you change your URLs. Um, so the next thing we have to do is go into our templates folder and we're going to copy a folder from the Django install that provides the templates to do all this stuff. So you need to find your Django install root. Um, we're going to do minus R because we're copying a directory. For me, it's user local python 2.7 lib python 2.7 site packages um, Django. So once you find your Django root, from there you're going to go to contrib, admin, templates, and then you're going to copy the entire registration folder into your templates directory. So now if we do an ls you can see there's a registration folder. Um, so now we'll go into registration to see what's in here. Okay so we can just get rid of logged out. We don't need that because we've already built our own function to do that. Um, okay let's see. Okay so now let's take a look at um, what that actually gives us so what we'll do is go back up into um, our base and so where we have our header nav um, actually let's do this on the login page so on the login page you've got your forms for username and password um, and then down here we'll put a P and we'll say forgot your password and here we'll do an href to reset password. Reset it. Okay, so let's write that. Um, now let's go take a look at our login template. So now we've got this forgot your password, reset it. So when we click on that, it takes us to reset password. Um, and this extends the basic Django template. So in our registration folder, we're going to look at uh, start with password reset form. So this extends admin base site. So we're going to have it just extend base.html. So now when we refresh, now we have it in our own uh, base. So that was easy enough. Um, we don't have breadcrumbs enabled, so we can just get rid of that. Um, we can leave the title there. 
Um, we can leave all this stuff there. So let's take a look. Let's refresh. So here's our reset. So now I'll enter the email address that I registered my user account with, and I'll click reset my password. Um, so now the password reset successful. So that's going to be password reset. Uh, let's try confirm. So for all of these, I'm just going to go through and change them all to extend base.html. Um, we're just going to get rid of breadcrumbs. We don't need those. Um, and this is not the right one. Um, so password reset email. Okay, so that's the actual email that gets emailed. Um, okay, so here's the form that we were actually looking for, or the template rather. So this is the page that we're on now. So if I refresh this. Now you can see it extends our base template, um, and you can change this password reset done to say anything you want it to. Um, so you can customize out all these templates. So now let's check my email. I've got an email from the webmaster. Um, so the reason it says example.com here is because I need to go into the admin. And I need to go to sites, and it takes it from here. So we need to change this to video1.hackedexistence.com. And we'll just save that. So I'm not going to um, resubmit it, but you guys can see that'll swap out example with your proper domain. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll just go pretend as if we had clicked that link. That's going to take us here. Hmm. Which didn't work out too well. Um, it's probably because I'm already logged in again. So let's try that one more time. Okay, so it's probably because I logged back in. It kicked me out, so I'll go ahead and reset it one more time for you guys. So we'll reset the password. So I'm going to click and see how it says video one now. It's now my new password. I'm going to enter a new one in there, change my password. So your password reset complete, we didn't change yet. Password reset complete. So we need to change this one to extend base.html. Um, and we can get rid of our breadcrumb here. Just gonna restart the server because I enjoy doing that. Now we'll refresh, and there you go. So now we have a fully functioning templating system to allow people to log in. So you can see this template here is pointing at slash account slash login, but we built our own login system. Um, so we're just going to delete this whole line because we have login built into the base.html. Um, if we wanted, we could put a link there back to slash login and have it again. But now our password reset system works. So users are able to reset their own passwords. It'll be emailed to whatever email address is attached to the user object. Um, it has nothing to do with the user profile or anything like that. 
The user object provides the username, the password, and the email address. So if you're trying to change people's email address, make sure you change it on the user object and not the user profile. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.